My yappers, welcome to episode two of the Yappers podcast. I'm here with my guest, Zio. Hello, my name is Zio Via. You've probably seen me on Lapis the Wolf's channel before. Um, I do comic dubs and little me- meme videos on my channel. And my other friend, Sonico. Yo, I make videos on Sonic and I'm currently tryharding on Minecraft and died. And I'm Lapis, and I'm going to assume if you uh, you may or may not know, but I do. Uh, I do music, artwork, animations, and I also am a voice actor, and I do comic dubs as well. And uh, in this episode, we will be yapping as always. And while we're pl- uh, while we're talking on this podcast, we're playing um, on a high pixel SMP server. When was the very first time? you guys played minecraft do you remember what it was like i remember actually it was back yeah me too it was like um way back all right i think it was like back when it was like first new right i used to play on this website called minecraft for free.com right where i could play minecraft for free right some ogs might remember that but um i just used to play on that i used to play like um like the little um demo version on the minecraft website and it was man it was great it was great, and I used to play that at, on, the, on the um on the Chromebooks in school all the time. My uh my cousin actually introduced me to that game, and I was <clears throat> and it was uh back in uh, 2010, maybe 2011 even. Shit, what, what did I do with that then? Oh yeah, I first got into Minecraft begrudgingly, right? Because like looking back, it's kind of cringe. But like I used to watch Sky does Minecraft play um Minecraft. Like on his first like Minecraft playthrough, that's how I got into it. I like, guess how I got into it, into it, and it became my my focus for like a couple of years. It's funny you mention that because I remember <coughs> watching Sky all the Skydus Minecraft music videos. I remember I that remember too. Those. That was I how remember I knew those. Who he was that was how I knew who he was because his character was in some of those. God. And that Minecraft song, uh, fuck, I forget what the name was. It was something. He was in a couple. He was in a couple, because I remember. He was in a couple. Oh, oh, please. Sorry, there's a midget zombie. Sonico, what was your first experience playing Minecraft? I remember using, like, begging my parents to, like, uh, get me Minecraft. And, like, I started on the Xbox 360, uh, back in, like, 2014. And, uh, yeah, I just... Stayed on console, mostly watching, uh, like... Did, did you, like, watch uh, Stampy, Stampy Longhead? It was insane. I never watched Stampy, actually. It was, like, one of, like, the... Like, a few tips I just didn't watch. It's kind of sad, to be honest. It, he was actually so... Actually, I didn't even remember why I liked him so much, to be honest. He was one I'm, of I was... YouTubers that just didn't get in trouble with stuff, if that makes sense. And when that... Oh, yeah, the people thing, around him got in trouble. Yeah. And yeah, that's true. The, and the funny thing is that the way he handled, uh, what was the guy, the bear's name again? Uh, uh Lee. Lee, Alpha the way Lee. he handled Lee Bear yeah. is the best way I've ever seen any YouTuber break the news to, ch- to your child audience. Like, cause it's just so interesting to me because usually people are just like, guys, pedophile, this pedophile, but like the way he handled it, it was just like, he knew his audience well enough to be like these people may these kids may or may not you know understand so he just said you know lee, Bo- lee bear has gone away he left a note for me and i'm just that was like, like very inoffensive i know he just he i feel like that was handled so well and then the ones and the thing is the only reason all those other people found out later was because they got curious and looked too deeper into it and by the time they looked deeper into it they were old enough to understand yeah he handled it so yeah. well. yeah I mean that's good for like a child audience. You no, know, you know, of course it's different. Like depending on where you go or what audience you have. Which like with him, his case was is that his audience was very very young. I mean the people that are watching him are not very young now, so they all know what happened. But he he had a very very young audience, and when at the time that was that was honestly the best the best way that he hand he hand he could possibly handle it. He did. He handled it the best way he could. Yeah. I mean, that's sad news. But like, oh, yeah, it damn. actually is. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like two accounts, too. It's not even just one. Like, there's one guy, and there was the 
<laughs> that other guy. There was another guy? I thought it was just yeah. one. Yeah. Remember Lion Maker? Hello? Oh my goodness. I didn't that guy, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, he was like a big time offender. Wasn't he? he big was worse. time. He was worse. He was l yeah, he was a lot worse. Well, well, yeah, yeah, he was a lot worse. Because I know Lee did some shit. I forget what he did exactly, but he was, like, also yeah, really Yeah, he, he, like, harassed the, like... Oh, he, yeah, my bad. I, yeah, that was you. That was you no. explaining, not me. Yeah. No, my bad. I'm, I'm not used to this. Yeah, like, uh, I think they... They had so many accounts of that stuff that... I'm not sure they might have been put on the registry. Wait. Uh, Lion... Wait, what was he even called? I don't it was know. Lion Maker. It was uh, just Lion Maker. Lion Maker. Uh, yeah, registry, name. let's see. No, he's mostly known for sexual abuse on a... Uh, that's... that's... Oh. It used to become yeah. that time a lot faster. And back in like 1.... I think it was 1.7 or 1.8. Because I, I was did. playing... I was the same time. I was playing like around 1.8. And day and night uh, would change rapidly, really, really much quicker. I've noticed that about it. Now it doesn't it you have more time for day daylight, but like in older Minecraft it would be nighttime <clears> really <throat> fast and I didn't make a house fast enough and uh an entire I made my entire house out of out of dirt because uh I couldn't I couldn't like and then I had some birch wood and so I built a door and you know what happens? Right. My door got broken <clears throat> down by a zombie in my dirt house. I was terrified. Oh. That was my first experience, and I saw a creeper for the first time, and I was like, what in the world is that thing? Why is it green? What the hell? And I, I saw it, and I was just like, what is that? And it was the thing, it terrified me because I had never had a zombie break down my door before like that. And the thing is, is that they, the, I think, I don't know if that's still possible now, because... It is. I, yeah. It's gotta be at least the percentage gotta be lower, but it was like my first time playing and that happened. I'm like, why did it break my door down? What did I do? And and the time that my little brother loved trolling me and he pretended to be Harold Ryan and was chasing me and I got really scared. We were playing Times land, of pretty land sure. to land. So we could use the same world because we were also on the same internet connection. And so I would open a world for us to play through the, the ports that you can host if you're using the same internet. And he turned on something that changed his character into like this creature that was floating. And he chased me and I was freaking out and he was in the same room as me and I was going, what is that thing? And then I look behind me and it turned out it was him and I was so mad because he scared me so bad. <laughs> that sounds very funny. It was you should very do that. funny. You should, you should do that again sometime. <laughs> that was like, um, how long ago was that? That was like seven or eight years ago. That was a while ago. It was pretty funny. Speaking of my brother, I logged on Hypixel Housing for the first time in like uh, five years yesterday because I've been playing Scours and Bed Wars mostly, but I logged on Housing for the first time, and I I got into my uh, my house and housing area, and you know what I'm greeted by right. a massive structure of a PP. He built oh. a <laughs> Minecraft PP. Well, I wasn't Ignore. on that. And, and so I, I, I was so, I, the thing is, I don't even remember that being there. So I took a screenshot and I DM'd him on Discord and I go, did you build this? Because, and he left me two notes. For, they both, both of them, one of them was from 2017 and one was from 2019 on my, my housing inbox letterbox. And I opened it up and it said, it said P. And then the second page of the, because you could leave like actual, uh, like books and in, in the uh, second book said pp it, it first 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 thing said p and second one said pp and then it just shows this massive <laughs> horrendous direction they <laughs> speak humorism <laughs> But the thing is, the thing that I'm also baffled by is how did I not get banned on Hypixel for, for that being there? I mean, I didn't build it, but he did. I just thought it was, it was really, really funny. That that's been there for that that structure has been sitting there in my in my game for five years and I and I log on and see that and that's the first thing I see. And I was in VC yesterday when I 
discovered that. No way. <laughs> He thought it was so funny when I DM'd him a picture and he goes, did you do this? And he's like, yeah, R I... <laughs> RP Nor is just banned on Hypixel, is that what I'm hearing? What's that? RP Nor? What's that? <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what did you say? What? A what? P, P Nor. <laughs> oh, oh, R... Hello? Oh, 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 you're trying to- <laughs> it was like a Pinor. What's a Pinor? Oh, you mean that. <laughs> it was a different- it was a different time. I mean, you know, it's, it's- nothing's really changed because that's still my humor, so I just- I just laughed when I saw it. I still laugh at the same things. <laughs> I wish she still played Minecraft with me like that, though, because we would play Minecraft, and you know what the best part about that entire thing was when I logged on housing? <laughs> What? For some reason, I don't know why I did this, but I've set both his and my housing are set to F FNF roleplay. It li so when somebody joins my house on housing, it says FNF RP. So they're gonna think that they're joining an FNF RP, but they're not. They're gonna see what he built. <laughs> they're gonna see that. And <laughs> I don't know why my it's being so Dude. bad, but but they're gonna think they're gonna they're gonna think they're gonna be joining an F and F R P, but no, they're gonna be seeing that instead. That's, that is dreadful. <laughs> when even was this again? When this happened uh, five years ago? <laughs> because By, oh, it was wait F and oh wait F and F has been around for five years. Yes. No, it's like uh, since late twenty twenty. What? Because the thing is that when I when I had when we had done that, it said that my the name of my housing the last message I ever received from him was in 20, uh, 2019, Before that was twenty seventeen. So he would have had to because we both had set our housings to F and F R P. So that had to been have been four or five years ago, because the last time I had been on housing was in like twenty nineteen. So. But I was, Jesus. I was, I, I was 15 years old when we were making those jokes. <laughs> I feel, I feel dreadfully old. I don't like that. I feel, I feel old too. <laughs> well, don't be as old as me. I think you're slightly I'm... older than me. I can't remember. Ow, I just got hit by a skeleton. That's not nice. Stop it. <laughs> You just lost like 12 years of your age. Good, holy shit, I don't need those. Uh, <laughs> lost 12 years of your age. That's very skibbity Ohio. That's like Sigma. That's very. It's like. My god, it's like so Sigma. Like, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Slay. So oh my god. Funny. Oh my good Leopsis. Oh my gosh. Oh, slay for Subscribe. Success. It's like so fetch. <laughs> it's like so totally sick of it. Oh my goodness. Do any of you know what? Okay, do any of you know what Danganronpa is? And I've watched a playthrough of Ultra Despair Girls. That's all I know about Danganronpa. Do you know who Naegi is? And do you know who Jun Junko and Ashima is? I know who Junko is, kind of vaguely. And I know who Naegi is, I think. I forget. It's been a while Maybe since I actually watched the, that anime. the main character that you see that's the boy with the brown hair. Oh, you mean the, the, the uh, overpowered MC? That's not actually overpowered at all. The super lucky high school student quirk guy, I think. <laughs> these guys are- these guys don't have powers. This is not a fucking power. <laughs> they want to be- they want to be at My Hero Academia so badly. <laughs> they want to be quirky so badly. <laughs> Like, oh my god, I'm like, so quirky. <laughs> Not like all the other girls, I'm actually so quirky. Like, oh my god. <laughs> you're, you're sitting down and Yuko comes up to Naegi and it's like... Oh my goodness, Naegi, <laughs> you slay! <laughs> That's a red flag, you need, you need to leave. <laughs> That's a red flag? <laughs> that is a red flag. Chat. Naegi, you wanna paint my nails like a true gamer? <laughs> Chat, if you hear that, you gotta leave. You gotta go. 
Junko, I don't want to paint your nails. Leave me alone. Deku shows up. <laughs> Why did you sound like he sound like actually Deku from the from the fucking memes? <laughs> Deku shows up. And <laughs> like, Hi, I'm Deku. I'm your best friend. <laughs> Dude, Deku went out sad. What the hell? I'm so upset because my hero Academia was so ass. It was so good at first. And this shit's so ass. <laughs> I actually stopped watching Academia like season three. I just don't, I don't know why I stopped. It just I just couldn't it get into so it. It was so bad. There was so like Rucka had so much potential. They just they, she was her the entire thing was gonna be her like you know getting do, trying to make money to help her parents and then it went from that to like. I love Deku! I love Deku! Oh my goodness! And then Deku be like... Fucking, I don't love Deku. I don't consent. <laughs> and then Deku was like... Oh my goodness, Raka! My love! Yeah. <laughs> and, and so it just turned into a love story. And then there's the weird people that shit Bakugo. Even though Bakugo not only... Dude, I don't himself. like Bakugo. Bakugo hates himself and hates everyone. Like, dude, like I don't, I don't really like Bakugo. Right? He has character development, I guess, at least from what I hear. But like, I hear also he hasn't fucking changed much. And if he hasn't changed much, I don't. I'm not interested. He's just like an unlikable character. He's an angry, He's a, why, angry character. Why isn't he a villain? Why isn't he a villain? I don't know. Bakugo is just a, just an angry, angry little man. I don't know what his issue is. <laughs> I'm Actually, so angry. Grr. Uh, Bakugo, why are you so angry? <laughs> Bakugo, why are you so hot? <laughs> Who said that? That was weird. <laughs> oh. Bakugo, that's listen. gore. We, Bakugo, we have to do it for the meme. Get away from me! But Bakugo, it's me, Zeku! The love of your life! Please! Wait, can you drop the cords? Cords for? I, I don't just, have a base. I uh, can just give you a For where you are. So you can teleport. Okay. Because I'm like uh, back at spawn, because I just uh, game overed myself. Game ogre. I just shred. There you go. You both can teleport now. Hello. You Hello. need you need items at all, pal? No, no. I got. <laughs> I will make the best investment you can make in a Minecraft world. Talk okay. to. Okay. There we go. I'm so sorry. Talk to. Uh. Um, have you seen like the reviews for Talk Two and they're like perfect? I haven't seen the reviews, haven't. but I just know they're terrible. It's terrible, terrible podcast. Just... No, like check it on IMDb. It's actually like nines and tens like, across the board. Yeah, I wonder why. Maybe it's because there was like a fucking like billionaire backing it, right? What billionaire? I think I missed something. Jojo Siwa really fell off. She doesn't wear bows anymore. This is it. Oh. All right. All right. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, basically, what I said, right, is that people should be able to do whatever they want so long as it's illegal. That's True. a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Just don't be a fucking weirdo. That's 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 the, that's that's the gist at the end of the day. Don't be. Chat. Don't be One said like. Guys, don't be. Don't be like. One said like. I once had like a Twitter argument with someone that was like defending a uh, lolly hentai, saying that it was legal and that psychologists uh, endorsed it or something stupid like that. Nah. <laughs> it's insane. Nah. Look, I don't care what people do, so just don't voice it online. <laughs> Jesus. It's <laughs> true. Don't fucking voice it online. You're gonna get dragged. Really okay, even though half of the people that say that's okay end up actually doing stuff to real children. That's the thing. That's true. That's what I don't think these people understand is that a lot of those people that say stuff like that usually end up having something on their hard drive or actually going and doing it. 
Yeah. Like, there should be rules against, like, more more restrictions on this stuff like that because Jesus Christ, people don't know how. That's why we need. That's why we need like more Gen Z people in these uh, decisions, so maybe they can like that people that understand uh, the severity of even like animated uh, CP to like help prevent it or something. I don't, know. I don't even really know how old the people that are that are defending this. I don't even know how old these people are. Like some what? some of them are fucking like you know are you know younger than they should be fucking watching. Because you know yeah. people are like terminally online these days. Like these children don't like um, aren't like being monitored, which is insane, by the way. Like, you know, parents don't really do enough. They just like put their kid in front of an iPad and just iPad let them go version. wild. <laughs> Actual brain rat. And it's like I mean, doing the kid a disservice. I mean, I was an iPad kid, but at least I wasn't watching stuff like that. I was watching like stuff my parents approved. <laughs> I was yeah, playing same. math games on the iPad. Like I wasn't doing anything. Uh... Got cool math games. It wasn't cool math games. It was actually better. It was this app where every time you get a math answer right, you have an aquarium. You would unlock you would unlock aquarium animals and sea creatures, and you would get to play with them. Every time you got stuff right, you unlocked more aquarium creatures. It was really I mean, cool. Crypto zoo? No, I'm joking. <laughs> crypto zoo? <laughs> What's a crypto zoo? Uh, it was like that Logan Paul thing that he tried to shill and it fucking failed, and he scammed a lot of people out of money. Of course it failed, it's looking Paul. It was, a, it was a rather tragic. Mm. I see fucking... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, on, okay, on one hand, uh, I never got the answer on where I could swear or not, so uh, my bad. No, you're fine. As uh, long as you... The only okay, people, thanks. The only words you can't say are just like... I mean... Slurs. Yeah, that's literally... No, yeah, fair, fair, fair. That's fair. Um, like... Uh, I saw Prime uh, stands in like supermarkets in Italy. That is insane. Prime. Italy? What's he doing in yeah. Italy? Yeah. I'm <laughs> like I'm Romanian, but uh, I live in Italy. You know what? You know what, Italy. You've been on a fraud watch for a while. I don't know, bro. <laughs> New New York City pizzas are just better. I don't know what to say, pal. I mean, I never I never said I I Italian pizzas are better. To be honest. Italians need to rise up against Logan Paul. Hashtag save Italy. <laughs> Hashtag get rid of Ban Logan Paul from entering uh, this country. Saving private lit Italy. <laughs> Hashtag save Italy. Logan Paul. Logan Paul doesn't, doesn't should not be in Italy. Dude, your fucking internet is connected straight to Ronald McDonald's asshole. What the I hell? I swear. <laughs> because... Like, I am this close to losing it, because I did not have this issue when I was recording last time. I don't know why I'm having this issue now. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person using the internet right now, too, so I don't understand what's going on. Something sussy is going on. Something suspicious is going on here. Hmm... I swear to God, I think I just made a tunnel that led right, right back to my tunnel. Yeah, but dude, I am sick and fucking tired of Twitter, actually, right? Because y'all seen the new, um, the new Terios thing, right? Yeah, oh my God, I hate that. Not Why not the Terios thing, but like the discourse around it. Dude, people, people are so fucking ungrateful. Wait, people are mad? I True. love it. I thought it looked really good. Yeah. What? Like, Why are people upset? We've been begging for Terrio Stabbis on skin forever. Because they think it's not like on model, on quote. When it's Excuse like literally, me? when it's literally on model. But I mean, I will what, but also angled it downward, kind of like it's how it's droopy. But people are angry that it's like it looks like knuckles, like or um, or Amy like quills. I mean, Why I could understand, but like getting too mad about it's kind of insane. Okay, well, my question yeah, but like is, the thing people the creator has mentioned it because is it a big creator said they don't like it, so everybody decided they don't like it either. Is that what happened? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's 
Just Twitter, Twitter sheep. No, it's probably. Know. To be honest, like people don't get concept art has like multiple drawings and there's no. Basically, yeah, right. it's like, yeah. All right, you know, go, you go ahead, you go ahead. No, no, uh, I, I interrupted you. Sorry. All right, basically, right. Hey, what, what was the last thing you heard, by the way? I just want to. Just the so I don't repeat myself. The last thing I heard was you were saying how ungrateful they are, and then what I said was, it's like, what big creator said they didn't like it? Oh, well, because I don't think it was a big... A lot. I don't think it was a big creator, it's just people on Twitter being ungrateful. It's because, um, they were, you know, they didn't like it because it was off-model or something from, like, the original art, because originally, it was, like, supposedly supposed to be, like, um, so supposed to look more like Sonic Quills, but, like, when it came out... Um, it looked more like Knuckles or Amy Quills. That's why people were mad about it. You heard that? Yes. I'm just- I, I'm sorry if I'm quiet, I'm just shocked. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, like, I mean, I could understand some, like, some, like, you know... Like, not all the way. I can understand some, like, the dislike for the skin. But, I don't understand, like, this, you know, massive hate for it. Right? Because it looks fine. I kind of fuck with the heavy. But... Getting too mad over it's kind of insane. I I didn't even know people <clears throat> hated it until somebody mentioned it the other day, and, and I just I didn't understand why. But now that you've mentioned that, now I know why. And like this is, and this is like the ten arms debate again. And the thing is, and the thing I want to add is when it, when has this not happened with something Sonic related? Like when has this never happened? I mean, it's just the. Th well, this is like a, another like instance of, you know, using, you know, the concept it's just part. Another, it's just another long quills, short quills argument. It's the same. Well, it's more the f it's more the fact that you know it looks like Amy quills instead of like you know looking more like Sonic quills. To get me, because the point of Tyrios before was like supposed to look mo a bit more like Sonic. And I understand why people are like eh, I don't really fuck with it, but. I mean, we fuck with it heavy. I mean, this is our first why people official don't fuck Terios model, right? Yeah, like... people people just are, like, not... Not fucking grateful at all. Yeah, but, like, people, in my opinion, don't even understand the concept of, like, concept art, because they had to do multiple designs. Maybe one had the Sonic quills and one had them, like, droopy. You cannot know since, like, they have shit you don't. Since I doubt have these fans work at Sega. So, yeah, they they think they know the franchise better than like the people who work at the franchise sometimes. Yeah, right. And sometimes, and sometimes, like I, I will admit, I will admit, right. Um, Mister, uh, yeah, Azuka San does get some stuff wrong, right? Like you know, mm. with him saying, "Oh, Chaos Control, something only Shadow can use," like as if his debut game didn't happen. Like, hello, or you mm. know, some other. Trivial shit that I don't even want to go over. It's just he does get some stuff wrong. But they're and like, too. People forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you forget. Not only do people forget, it's just, you know, sometimes, you know, people change their minds or whatever. And it's and it's not like, right? <clears throat> it's not really like that, um Fuck, what was I gonna say? Alright, the point is, right? People need to, like, chill the fuck out. You need to chill the fuck out. It's not the end of the world. It's an extra skin. It's an extra skin that's not even the final model. You're not even playing... Like, this is not even a character, really. This is like a, like a skin for a character that we already have. This is a concept design, too. It's literally the rabbit from, uh... From Superstars. Yeah, like, to be honest, Sonic fans really expect way too much from, like, a normal company. Like, no company does this much, like, a fan catering. At least as much as uh, these people want. They just expect too much. Yeah, like... <sighs> like, we're, we're, we're eating this year, right? I we're eating this mean, year. This is the most and advertised Sonic game in a while, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's insane. True. It's insane, this and people are. Than a, this is where all the money that was gonna be used for the Sonic movie, all that money went to this, which I don't mind. 
all the advertisement money because people are complaining about the Sonic movie trailer stuff. But honestly, I think all the advertisement mo money went to this game, and I don't mind that at all. Yeah, he, this game got fucking like two mangas, fucking an entire three-part anime with a bonus scene. If you go watch it on YouTube right now, um, yeah, there's fucking um, leaks for we leaks we got like all throughout the entire fucking showing of the game. We have Mephilus back. We're getting, you know, some actual good content for Shadow. We have merch drops, like, out the wazoo. I hop menu fucking deals or whatever. That, that happened for, like, all of May. Like, hello? Like, people need to we calm the fuck Sonic down. Symphony. We got Sonic Symphony! And Sonic Symphony? Sonic Symphony? I almost forgot about that. And the thing is, people have uploaded all of the songs to YouTube, so you can actually go and listen to them, even if you missed it. And, like, other thing I want to add, um... Like, there's Sonic Expo. They they host those where I live, and they're really awesome. That's so lucky. I actually got in, uh, twice. I got my art, uh, held there twice in 2022 and 2023. I missed out this year, though. But, um, I made it in the last two years, so that was cool. I didn't- I wasn't able to That's go, sick. but I was able to, My art was there, but I wasn't there. But, You're like, so peak. Like, it's- it's like we've got so much going on and i think that a lot of people need to understand that e i understand because a lot of this str like all this like anger behind all of it i don't think all of it's like people that are just completely dumb a lot of it these people are just like i mean i'm passionate about sonic a lot of yeah. people, to an extent, are pa very, very passionate about Sonic, but I think people need to understand they can't let their own opinions dictate the entire franchise because everyone feels differently about something, and that's okay. But just because you feel differently doesn't mean everybody has to feel the same way. But that's what people don't get. They want everything to be one way. And the, and the thing is, I don't think people understand this about Sonic. Sonic is one of, one of those things where it can be literally anything. Yeah, it's the, it's the experimented with a lot of mediums, right? It's it's not afraid to it's take a risk. It's one of the most multimedia franchises I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. And oh, dude, I almost forgot, dude. The fucking DC Sonic crossover, too, with Batman oh, Shadow. Yo, yeah. Like, hello? Yeah. You fucking Sonic fans better be happy. I swear to God. Like, like I'm so, I'm so fucking tired oh, of people, God. actually. Like, like, I'm not a hater, right? But Jesus, like you, you all gotta fucking like wake up, smell the roses. This year's peak. It's actually peak fucking Sonic content. Y'all better fucking wake up. Y'all better stop dragging your panties about this. Like we we are getting so much more than we have in a. We have a. We're get. We've gotten. We haven't gotten this much content in the past two years. The last time we got dropped as much as we did, like, this year was, was when Frontiers was announced. Like, we, yeah, have, I mean, even... we have a good right now. I, yeah, I we don't do know have why people good. are so quick to like... be so angry. And the other thing I want to add, if they don't like it so much, there's mods. You know how, how big the Sonic Generation's modding community is? It is yeah, one and, of the and... biggest in the entire modding community of Sonic. Yeah, and they said that the modding is going to change much. I'm not sure how, you know, you know, <laughs> that that's true, but I, like, can't, I mean, I'll trust them so far. Like, if you don't, oh! if you don't like it that bad, just change it yourself. Don't expect a multimedia marketing company to just, like, bow down to you because you're a Sonic fan. It's not going to happen. You're not special. Dude, and here's the thing, too, right? This is why I'm afraid, of, like, a lot of, like, the, you know, the bad faith criticism people, like, you know, put out. It's because, um, Sega, right, or, like, Sonic Team, rather, has, um, listened to these, like, these fuck-ass opinions before, right? That kind of, like, ruined the franchise somewhat, right? Because yeah. of, how, like, how badly, um, how badly, uh, Sonic 06 was received, right? And how, you know, the old heads in the Sonic community... Kind of like, oh, dragging that super hard for the wrong reasons, right? Saying, oh, it's, it's Sonic's stupid fucking friends. Ooh, ooh, they, oh, I don't want Sonic. Ooh, Sonic wanted to be, I wanted, I wanted, it's one of my favorite I want, I want bad to be, Sonic games. 
Ooh, like, I want it to be simpler. I want to be simpler. Like, come on. <laughs> These people ruin the fr like. Also had a part in ruining the franchise, right? Because they just gave some bad criticism and just <laughs> it went to like a wrong direction. And like that's the, that's the thing that Sonic Team also does wrong, right? They overcorrect. Because that's what bad. do you they think happened with Final Horizon, where it became too hard? Yeah, exactly. Like that? that was insane. Was, because so many people were so upset that they they pitched such a fit about it being too easy that they made it so difficult that most people that want to play it on hard mode can't. I mean, I know a few people that were able to, but I'm not the best at Sonic games, even though I love Sonic. And that game Dude, I'm just, is hard. I'm just gonna say right now, right? If you're like the person who just like fucking nonchalantly says, Oh, skill issue, just play, just get better. Shut the fuck up, dude. Y'all are like actually annoying, right? And it's not because it's just a skill issue. If you pay attention to like the difficulty curve from base game, all the, you know, to the Final Horizon, it's actually kind of insane. Like, it spikes from like regular casual gameplay to like insane difficulty curves that the base game does not prepare you for. It's artificial difficulty, right? It doesn't work. Like, they should have like balanced the game much better with the base, you know, with how like base game was, and just build off of it rather than just soup up the difficulty for like no reason. And not only that, true. A lot of like the fucking like challenges and shit, they're just tedious. They don't even feel fun. It just feels like, you know, extra shit. And we can't be mad at Sega because these people asked for it to be that way. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, yeah. I, I guess we just don't blame them. Like they shouldn't have fucking. Li they, they should like know better to tell them to listen to these people. Yeah, it's kind of true. Like, I'm afraid they won't they won't like make uh, any more son uh, like classic Sonic games due to like Superstars uh, bad sales. I also they, they heard tend to do this stuff. Superstars. So, what was people's problems with that? I, I, it's just, I it was mainly the boss fights. The boss fights are really bad. I hear, and I yeah, I kind of agree. The boss fights are pretty bad, but the game itself is not no, it was not bad. It was, it was like it was it was rather regular. Like at so first, like I completely horrible. despised the game. Like at first, I hated the game, but like. It's because my half of my playtime was literally just the bosses. So, with the boss fights, when you say it's really, oh. really bad, because keep in mind, I've played through a lot of Sonic Superstars. I haven't finished it, but I was just curious, what specific things about the boss fights do you not like? To be honest, uh, it's not really the boss fights as much as the final bosses because they make you fight one like four hour long final boss, then you have to replay the whole game, fight another like six hour, I mean six hour on the first attempt it took me, that's probably my skill issue but still, and then after you beat that one there's another final boss which took me another two hours, it was just like ten hours of just boss fights, it was actually so boring. Yeah, you know, like Sonic boss fights have never been really good at all. I mean, I would go as far as to say that Frontier's boss fights aren't really that good either. It's just the boss music is pretty good. I mean, I'm not saying that the Frontier's boss music and bosses are bad. They're like more just, I don't know, just regular. You just do like the same combo over and over, and then you win. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, and I think I think Frontiers is more like an experiment game, if you know what I mean, because there was a lot of interesting, as much as it wasn't, I mean, whether it's good or bad, the fact that they were making something different is something that I, I really do, I applaud Sega for, at least they're trying different stuff, even if it doesn't work, because I've never seen a company try as much stuff with Sonic as they have, because at least these people, I'm gonna say, so, uh, us Sonic fans are lucky these people are even willing to give us, like, anything. Any thoughts or any, like, an ability to have a voice. Because I think a lot of people take for granted how easy it is to just talk to some of these higher-up people. Because in most communities, they're not that well, like, connected to the owners. 
and I think a lot of people take for granted how much, uh, how big, how much power we all have as a community. And the problem is when people start using it to like be awful. That's when it becomes a problem. It's true. Yeah. Like recently, Ian Flynn quit Twitter just because like they kept harassing him. And saying, and I don't blame him. He got doxxed. He got doxxed. I don't blame him. Dude, actually, I, I heard that was like bait. <laughs> Dude, here's the a doxing. thing. And here's the thing about Sonic fans, right? They are insanely entitled. Probably the most insanely, like, probably the most entitled fandom I've ever, ever like, experienced or come across or ever heard of, right? I never heard, heard of any other fandom that's this bad or like this entitled. Not even like. Some of like the even worse ones, like Undertale. Like at least back in the early days. Undertale like was like it's like fine now, but it was really bad back in the day. I, I know what you're talking about. I was a Sans fan I was a Sans fangirl. <laughs> I was You were one too. I know another I Sans fangirl. I, the thing is I didn't go after people for liking Sans. I didn't care if people liked Sans. I just I heavily obsessed with Sans. That was it. I would just draw my character and Sans together. That was all I did. <laughs> Sadaru Gojo is literally just the fucking modern day Sans, dude, and that's annoying to think about. Cause I, <laughs> I don't like Jujutsu Kaisen, not because I, not because I don't like don't like the anime, cause I I've never watched it, but it's mainly because of the fact that it's just brain rot, like it's like part of the brain rot now. Cause like, you know what I mean? I, yeah. Yeah. Cause I like, um. I just, if you were to look up my name anywhere, you could probably find my old DeviantArt. It's, it's just literally shipping our, my uh, my character with Sans. And the problem is, the problem that I had back, I actually got harassed a bit because I was a Sans fangirl. It wasn't because of me going in after people or anything. I got my this server that we're currently talking in, it got raided once. Because oh. of people that found out I was a Sans fan girl, I kid you not. I banned all of them, but it did happen one time. But after that, it was like that one time. But uh, I know what you're talking about. I I know how bad it was. There was an entire cringe compilation of these girls that were like, I mean, like obsessed to the point. Where they would draw their OCs killing somebody else's OC for his uh, I don't know if you guys remember that part of the fandom. I, I do. <laughs> I think. I mean, I, I can imagine. I definitely don't. I wasn't a part of that. I didn't interact with the fandom. I just drew stuff and posted it. I didn't interact with the Undertale fandom until 2019, and that was when I made my Twitter account. So. Oh, that's that's mistake number one. Seeing number one. I mean, I, to be fair, some of the the biggest people I've ever been become friends with were through through Twitter. I mean, I've made a lot of connections through Twitter. I don't think, I don't think it was bad that I made a Twitter account. I just think that uh, I think that once everybody, I think it's a great start if you're trying to build something. If that makes sense. But I know at some point, when once I get more more people on Blue Sky. I will probably leave Twitter. Bad eye girl. It because I, I've been on Twitter for a while, and some of the worst people I've ever met were from there, and some of the best people I've ever met were from there. But it's a two-edged sword. The problem is my biggest, my biggest following is on Twitter, so I'm hoping all of the, I can take all of those people with me to Blue Sky. So that's why I'm dual posting. So I'm posting on Blue Sky and here. But, and I will say Blue Sky is not toxic. That's this one thing I've I've noticed. <laughs> People are not, uh... And the other thing, the algorithm's different. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but people don't, um... There's no, there's no, uh, you don't post something and get punished for it. You know what I mean? You post something, yeah. people, like, you don't get punished for posting like you would on Twitter. If you didn't post what was trending, your <laughs> stuff would get purposefully, like, less seen. Which was really annoying. Yeah, I should probably post more on Blue Sky. Um, and I, I have my fucking um, the art that I um, the designs that I made for uh, Shadow and shit, and like it doesn't get any fucking views. 
and like repost it all the time. And it's like, bro, on Twitter, it's like sitting here, yeah, on Twitter. I didn't even know you did stuff like that. I never saw no, my I mean, timeline. It's, it's even like Arthur Idris. It's like uh, just designs that I, you know, I conceptualize people draw for me. How come Twitter didn't recommend me any of that? Do you see what I mean? I haven't seen any of that. Yeah, I always repost it. It should and be like in the it. feed. And it's I don't fucking. See it. <laughs> oh, that's that's gore. Sorry. That was, that's no. gore of my. That's gore. That's gore of my podcast, mate. Oh hello. Oh, cr dude, I was in the never. And now I'm just back here. No oh, idea bro. how to get back. I mean, I have yeah. I have enough for my nether portal. Sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, like fucking actually being popular on Twitter is fucking like I I don't know I don't know how to do it. I was lucky. That's kind of what happened with me. Is I got lucky. I met the right people at the right time. But the problem is is that I don't know how many of those people are gonna move. And the thing is, I know a lot of people have already started deactivating and moving over. That's one thing I've noticed. But... But, um... And honestly, it might be... It might be easier to grow in Blue Sky because people aren't as, like... There's no hierarchy like there is on Twitter, you know what I mean? There aren't the people yeah. that act like they're elites and they don't talk... People who were on those kinds of hierarchies are just talking to people like like normal like that weird feeling like people were better than you because of this and that it's not it does not exist on blue sky that's one thing i've noticed it's it's so different in a good way See. i used to be so uh what's the word self-conscious intimidated uh. by bigger accounts so on Blue Sky, some of the big, uh, biggest accounts on Blue Sky have a couple thousand. It's- nobody's like... Um... The biggest accounts at least have 10k on there. But like, it's- it's not like... Massive, massive accounts where they- you- and you see the notifications more easily too, I wanna add. You see stuff on your timeline and you can- there's an entire feed just for mutuals. And you actually can see everybody's posts instead of it getting randomly. Because my problem with Twitter, you find something you like and it randomly reloads and you lose it and you never see it again. Yeah, like sometimes the algorithm just crashes and it really reloads the page. It's so annoying. I know. You know how many times where I found something I really liked and then only to lose it because it decided to do that? But it's like, it's one thing, it's one thing being like, gosh, I'm going to leave Twitter forever because I, I, you know, I can't go because then all the people have done that. They're like, I'm leaving Twitter forever. I'm never coming back. I can't say I'm leaving Twitter forever. I'm just, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is putting my eggs in different baskets. Yeah. I, mean, I, I recently made a blue sky and like, it looks pretty nice. It's kind of clean. It is. It is really nice. I don't see any discourse in my timeline. For once. <laughs> ones actually a friend of mine actually introduced me to blue sky quite a while ago i haven't used it though i should get to it i made i thankfully i made mine six months ago but i didn't really start using it until recently because i kind of forgot i had made an account because i made it just in case Because six months ago, I had this feeling like this was going to happen, so I went ahead and made my account, but I wasn't really posting on it, and then all of a sudden, all my mutuals, a lot of my mutuals found me and were like, oh my goodness, you're on here. I found you. And there's even this plugin you can download where it automatically makes you follow all your mutuals so they can find you, which is pretty neat. Ah, oh, neat. But... It is, it is honestly quite sad to see. Twitter didn't used to al always be like this. Yeah, Twitter, like, Twitter didn't used to be, like, this rabid. It used to be, like... It was semi-okay like, when I started. It was semi-okay, like, yeah. But, like, I, then I hear 4chan are saying that Twitter's fucking crazy. And that's how you know it's, it's getting real bad. Uh, yeah, when you hear 4chan go, Grash, I think Because at least... As much as I don't like 4chan, because the difference between 4chan and Reddit is Reddit's just organized. That's the difference. But at least on 4chan, 
people are less likely to, uh, as much as there's a lot of degenerates on 4chan as there is on Twitter, people are at least aware they are. Because the problem on Twitter is people, a lot of people are, and they don't even realize they are. So that's why they keep acting the way they do, because they don't even, they're not even conscious enough to realize how they're acting. Half of these people, I guarantee you, if you were to reflect their face at them, they would, they would not recognize themselves. Because I feel but like Twitter has changed a lot of people in a bad way. To an yeah. Extent. True. Ow. I feel like Twitter is one of those things where it's taught me how not to act so I don't act that way. If that makes yeah. sense. No, I get what you mean. Makes sense. Totally. Yeah, it doesn't even help like uh, with mental health and crap. Like, oh, no. I just, I just want to vibe, man. Like, I just want to vibe with my friends, do comic dubs, build connections, etc., etc. I am very, I am very simple, man. Yeah, I just, I just, what I want. I've been trying to build this since I was, since I was how, uh, since I was 14 years old. I'm 20 now. I've been trying to build a community for the past six years, and like. I feel like it's semi-successful because there's enough people where I can DM somebody and they'd be like, Hey, I wanna- I wanna do that too, I wanna join. Like, I feel like if I were to continue for at least the next another six years, there might be- might be somewhere further. But I think, in honesty, I have to thank people like you guys for giving me that ability that makes sense yeah no problem yeah i mean to be honest i remember I... go ahead what no go ahead oh yeah sorry i remember like following you so uh, from like that one uh sans sketch I, like, responded, fucking freaking out. Oh my god, is that Sans? I think I was in, like, in class. If it was a Sans sketch, there would have had to have been several, several years ago, or is it a recent? No, you, you've been, you No, it was so recent. For a while. No, recent? No, it was, like, really recent, like, um, a few months. I'm trying to remember which, because I, the thing is, Sonico, you've been following me for a while, because it's, there's a few people that have been following me since my account was made. I think you're one of the, I'm trying to think, I think you've been following me on Twitter for maybe three or four years now. I no, I think you got the wrong person, I like, I'm thinking followed you maybe. I'm trying to think, because a lot of, the, what, what happened? What the reason why people started following me was be it was when I started interacting with the Sonic community. It was oh. when I started drawing Sonic. That's when I started making more connections. Because I really, really like Sonic, and I didn't really know. I didn't know why do creepers keep blowing up my house, bro. Uh, that's that's for <laughs> my farm. Dad. Just fill with the birch blocks. What's the we need more coal. Turn off creepers? Let me. Wait, maybe I have oh, some coal. Creepers. To be honest. Oh, well, there's um do there's do um. Drop some coal. Off. Uh, I dropped the coal. You uh, lapis picked it up. Yeah, I know. I got it. Oh, that's that's a really yeah. nice spot. I actually found you off like pure happenstance, right? Because I was actually just trying to find some um, fan music for Shadow, because you know, I want to put you know put it in my Shadow playlist, right. and like then I found you, right? Because you made like a, a little song with uh, Shadow on the thumbnail, right? Uh, oh, this is going to my Wait, this is going to my playlist, and then I subscribed. About the song called the Revival. I think so. I think I remember. Because that's the one, the only one I could think of that semi kind of people saw was the Revival song. But I had like shadow as the thumb. The, it was a drawing I did of shadow, as the pick, the thumbnail or whatever. That's I think that was it. Kind of crazy because I, I didn't think anybody would listen to half of my music, but people kind of have. So I've met some people through that, which is actually kind of cool. I mean, I don't post as much music on my channel now, but that's actually really really cool.
Yeah, I didn't think I had to get, you know, as many people watching me either, honestly. I thought this would be like another irrelevant 100 uh, subscriber channel, then I got, and I just got, and it blew up overnight. You know, it's funny you say that, that's what happened to me too. Um, it, all of this is kind of new to me as well, because it happened, uh, it happened on a fateful day of, of last year. It was almost a year ago, actually. Um, one of my... My one of my comic dubs that I I did I got permission from my one of my friends Ira, she gave me permission to dub her uh, Super Amy comics and, um, the moment I posted it, uh, within uh I came back a couple minutes later and it blew up like crazy. It was it almost didn't feel real. Yeah, I, me and, I remember seeing that. And the thing is that video. Cause that was the that was the uh, turning point for my YouTube channel. That because of that video, I hit one <clears> k <throat> within a, a a week. I was at one k within a week because of that video, and that video currently currently sits at eighty four thousand views. This is my most viewed video, and that's from ten months ago. And then I did wow. I did part uh I did part two. Um. Where is it? I don't think I actually called it part two. But I, I, what I started doing was I kept doing more of them with each parts. And then I did one where I combined all four parts together. And even the in-between uh, little snippets that she had that weren't fully colored, but they were, you know, in-between parts you could put in. And that yeah. video blew up as well. That, uh, part two had 58,000 views. Part one through four, where I combined all four together, had 46,000 views. And part four point of uh, Super Amy Rose four point five and f like five that video fourteen thousand like and then I just realized wait people like and the thing is at that point this was before I brought you in to do Shadow Zio yeah but at that point like <clears throat> I was shocked because I I did not I was not um I I uh how do I say it? like I didn't think people were gonna like my voice acting. I was really worried that people were gonna think it was terrible, and to my surprise, people were not like they didn't dislike it. So I kept doing them, and then uh, and then you came to me and and uh, was like, you know, I could voice Shadow, and then I kind of put it off for a while because I didn't know you that well, and I was a bit anxious about it because I had That's this fine, thing yeah. happen where somebody uh. I had a bunch of people that saw what happened to my channel and they DM'd me and they were trying to get access to my channel because they saw Yee. I kind of blew. And this, what what I mean is, is that I had people that were begging to collab with me, but they were trying to collab with me to use me as a stepping stool, if that makes sense. Yeah, I and get what you mean. And it was random people. <clears throat> and so I wasn't really doing anything with anybody. I was just doing everything all on my own because I was kind of scared because of people being kind of like... I had never met going, hey, um, I would like to do this for your, because the thing is they were not doing it because they wanted to be, because I, when I make connections with people, I want to make real friends, because yeah, same if you here. have about, if you have an entire group of people you're doing stuff with, and you're not really, you don't really care for them, what's the point? Like, yeah, like, I don't, I don't really like doing things. Unless, you know, no, I actually get some genuine, genuine enjoyment out of it, right? And I want to make sure people around me are also enjoying what they're doing. I don't want to make people feel like, you know, oh, I have to do this a chore, uh, you know what I mean? Right, because, like, because growing up, there were a lot of people that were around me in some of these communities that just were, like, if the, the moment you blew up, they would start acting like you were some, like, Super celebrity. Yeah, and then you wouldn't make, and it made it a lot harder to make friends because, like, how could you, how could you know the difference if they were just trying to use you for your connections or, like, and that's happened to some of my like my, my friends that I've that I'm friends with, like that are particular, uh, have some audience that's large amount, like some of my friends. That's happened to them, where they have people that were using them just to get to somebody else, and it's really not, not, not fair. I, I don't understand why people do stuff like that. Cause like, 
Um, it's- it's just- it's frustrating because, like, and I don't think the people that do this understand that even if you do somehow blow up for whatever reason, if you have no basis or foundation of people that care about you and that you care about, everything you're doing will not- will not- will not, uh, succeed. It won't. Because who are you doing it for? If you're not doing it for yourself, if you're not doing it for anybody, who- who are you doing it for? You know what I mean? Like- if you're just doing it for all these views and you're just doing it for for people to click on it and you're not semi enjoying it to an extent and you're just kind of like uh uh what content farming things yeah how do you ever really get anywhere with that how do you because you're gonna feel like you've done nothing you're not gonna feel achieved oh no i get what you mean like for me I just do what I do for fun, right? I never expected to blow up this this fast, right? I just wanted to do some comic dubs because I remember back in the day I used to watch a lot of Undertale comic dubs, and I, I do intend too. to do I, I do yeah I do intend Dang. on doing some Undertale comic dubs soon, right? Because it's already one made. Um, but I remember uh, I remember like just watching a lot of uh Sonic comic dubs as well. I'm like, oh, I mean, I have a shadow voice. I've been doing this for a while because um Kofi. I actually. Oh, don't say that! Don't say that! I swear to God, please! Oh my God! Do not remind me of PJ's fucking daycare. That was oh, insane, Jesus. by the way. I forgot about that. Yeah. Like I don't even know what Sans Comic TV is doing these days, but PJ's daycare. Was making bait they, of PJ's they didn't, daycare. They didn't. They didn't make the comic, but that's why I watched the comic. That's where I did too. That was before I, I. That was when I was a minor and didn't know what any of that stuff indicated. To be honest, yeah, I was like, me I neither. Was like Thirteen, so I didn't. Yeah, know. dude. <laughs> I didn't I, know. That was insane, but like, yeah, like I just for you know for fun and like to make build connections. Like, I didn't expect to make as many friends as I do now. Um, build, just building genuine connections, like, the best I can, I, I guess, right? I don't want to fucking toot my own horn and say, Ooh, I have so many friends, right? No, it's just, Cause... it's nice. It's a genuine nice <laughs> thing. Because... Yeah. The biggest problem in our society is people don't, like... Our issue is, like, we're connected to the entire world, but we don't feel, like... I mean, for me personally, I have an issue where I have trouble connecting with people in real life. Like, that's an issue I have, because I have a lot of social, intense social, um, issues, and it makes it really hard for me to open up, but, like, places like the internet, it's a lot easier, because I don't have to worry about maintaining eye contact with people, or worry about trying to start topics with people, it's just, I've always had a lot of trouble with that, and, like, places yeah. like here's makes it so much easier for me socially. I get what you mean. Like, um, for me, I wasn't really the same, right, with, like, socializing. It's just that fucking, you know, high school and school in general kind of fucked me up. Like, it kind of gaslit me into thinking that I don't like people or, like, have trouble talking to people. But, like, in actuality, I really like talking to people. I really like interacting with people. But, like, people were so judgy that I felt like I had to change myself in order to, like, feel accepted. And, like, when I just, you know... When I just didn't vibe with somebody, you know, in a general sense, I just didn't talk to them, right? Right. Like, I mean, like, I'm not anti-social, I just, you know, I just have a certain vibe, right? And I don't really like to mess, you know, with certain people that I just don't, you know, I don't really vibe with. Like, a lot of people in high school, right, they, they do all this other stuff, right? Like, not worrying about their fucking schoolwork or whatever, right? Or talking about fucking girlfriends or drama. I didn't really care, right? I just want to... Go to school, get out, you know, just like play some COD, like on my PS3 with my friends, right? I didn't really care about any of like that trivial shit that didn't really matter. You know, what, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I I was homeschooled, so I never had any of the um. Those You're experiences, wow. I can't, uh, I can't, uh, I grad, I literally graduated two years ago, so I, I don't know what, um, I can't imagine how hard all of that is. What does, like, uh, homeschool graduate, <laughs> graduation ceremony even look like? Well, you just, what, uh, what we do, so what I did for a really long time was, uh, 
Well, since I was born, <clears throat> my mom bought these school books from this uh, from this school. And right. what you do is you do all the work, and you have three self uh, three self tests that you take, and then there's a there's a test that a third test at the end of the book, and then there's a final test. Or there's uh what do you call it? five tests in total for each book so there's self and what it does the three self tests what they do is each uh test for each of the three sections and then the 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 test on the back that's for all three sections about them all together and then there's a final test that's just for everything all together thank you for the shield no problem You're and welcome. uh what you do <laughs> Is you do all the tests and then if you if you get above eighty percent you um so it's interesting when I started they changed it it used you used to have to at least be uh seventy percent to pass and then like about halfway through it they started making it so you had to be have to have eighty percent at least of things right to pass. You see. And I had I had a lot of trouble with some stuff like I hated theorems. They wanted me to memorize over a hundred something theorems about math that does not matter. I'm so f stupid. And half of the stuff they had me memorize, I didn't even use for even in the book or the test itself, which was really stupid. But... That is so stupid. It was. And the thing is, when I talked about it, nobody knew what I was talking about, because I think it was just this curriculum that did that. But it was a real, it was a real school. I just didn't go to it. I just did all the work. And then I graduated and they sent me my diploma. And it's it's really pretty. It's like red, velvety red on the outside, lined with like velvety red. Like, uh, it feels like leather on the back. But I, uh, I graduated and then, um, I started, I started working right after I turned 18. Like, within a couple days after. And then... See. And then, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I don't, I'm not anti-social. I don't dislike people. I am just extremely, extremely nervous and anxious. Same, I feel you. So, yeah. Yeah, I enjoy being around people. Like, um, I usually try to surround myself with people, honestly, because I don't really do well when I'm alone. And it gets a bit harrowing, you know? I get that. Speaking of... I mean, it's like, uh... I hate being alone, but I'm so afraid to, like, mess uh, shit up when I'm with other people, so I end up usually just staying by myself. I mean, I'm just, I'm just here chilling, really. Alright, if people need me, they can just call me. And I'll be there. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Like, people think I, you know, I'm just shy or something. And I'm really, I'm fucking not shy. I'm really not shy, right? I love yapping. If you catch me yapping, that means I like being around you. And I typically like being around people, right? It's not hard for me to, you know, to just chill. Especially at family gatherings. But I have to actually understand what you're talking about, right? Because my family, um,. Come from like a Spanish descent, right? But I don't know a lick of Spanish, so it's like that's crazy. So it's like they think I'm shy, but I just don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> oh that's fair. That's really yeah, it's funny. like I'm just like nodding along, He's trying to pretend shy, I know. What He's a shy boy. No, I just don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> right, I just don't know what the hell you're talking about. I mean, I could kind of get the gist a little bit, but it's like, like, why am I even there? So, my when, when, question is, if, so, all of your family knows Spanish, how come they didn't sit down with you and teach you at least a little bit? Well, not all of my family knows Spanish, but, like, a lot of my Spanish, my family knows Spanish. It's the thing. That's crazy. And it's I more like... Know. Go ahead, sorry. What do you mean? No, go, go ahead. I was saying, I know, um... No sé un poco, a little bit. I only know a little bit, but that's because I, my parents have been trying to get me to, like, be fluent in it since I was born. I know a couple of different, couple languages, but that's because I... 
Is your family from Spain or something? No. <laughs> That's the funny oh. part. It's just... What the hell? <laughs> oh, so they're just extra. A lot of... I live in Texas, and more than 50% of the people that are here speak Spanish, so... Uh... You kind of have really? to know. Yes. We're, we're uh, like, literally... We're near the Mexican... Like, Texas hits the Mexican border. And a lot of people that uh, do a lot of work here are of Spanish descent. Or speak Spanish. Or there's there's a lot of, like, people that just moved here from, from like, Brazil. So, or, or Portugal. Like, places like that. Or South, South America. Places that moved here. So, a majority of people that live here do speak Spanish. I know yeah, I'm really out of the loop on America. I know enough to have some conversations with people. Like, I can ask people how their day is, and I can uh, they, I can tell them how much I know. I can ask people for their... Uh, like, I can have some convers... Which the thing is, is that... I would say my social Spanish is about the same as my social English, because I'm too nervous to ask people stuff. So, it's about the same. So when I stop talking in Spanish and switch back to English, because I... My brain switch- Because sometimes it just happens. I've gone to the point where sometimes my brain will switch over whenever I interact with somebody that's speaking in Spanish. My brain will switch over automatically and then switch back. Because- And the funny thing is I wouldn't have been able to do that two years ago. A lot of my job has helped me. Believe it or not, speaking in Spanish with just other people who speak Spanish is a lot better than just taking Duolingo. I'll, I'll say. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I think... I think stuff like Duolingo is literally a scam. Like, the best way to learn languages is just to speak them. Like, I also had to, like, move um, to Italy from Romania. And I didn't know a single word of Italian, and I literally was thrust into school the first day, not knowing anything. And I just, like, yeah, that's not the most fun way to learn it, but I think stuff like Duolingo just leads you to a dead end where you don't know how to speak uh, the language they're teaching you, but you also, like, um, don't know nothing. Like, it's it's really weird, but I think it's really useless. And the thing is, is I don't think that it's completely useless. I think it's great if you're tr if you've never seen Spanish at all. Because I was fortunate that I had somebody that was willing to sit down. Like my sister knew a lot, so she she taught me a lot. And I had flashcards that were Spanish flashcards I did when I was little. Like you know how people I like how some uh, my mom would sit down with me and teach me multipl my multiplication tables. That's basically what we would do, but with, like, Spanish. And so when I got stuff right, I would get a sticker, and then I would have to say what, what the sticker was in Spanish. So it'd be like a cow, go like, gato, dog, perro. I see. Yeah, I yeah. wish my fucking parents taught me that. Because, uh, like, if you start young, it's so, that's why now it's easier for me, because I started, like, they started doing that when I was six. So that's why it's a little bit easier for me. But I don't think you'll always. It really, and it also depends. You have to like wanting to learn Spanish because I, my little brother, he really hated it. At least that's what he seemed like he hated it. I had a bit easier time with it because I really enjoyed it. Because I found a lot of pride in trying to like, like for example, like I can speak. I can go, ya tara shinska. That means I speak Swedish. I could. Um. I could, uh, in Russian, go, uh... My home. Like, I can... I, I'm not the best, but it's way better than nothing. Even if you don't know that much, if you just know a few sentences, sometimes it could actually save your life. Yeah. But it I, also I need... depends if where you live, because I happen to live where most people here just speak it, so... Yeah, I should probably learn a few more languages, but fuck, dude. Like, for me, um, I just didn't really have a good relationship with my, um, my Spanish teacher, right? Because I always get, you know, always get, like, frustrated, right? She was kind of a bitch, honestly, so I just didn't really, <laughs> I just didn't really like you know her. what's fair. Because <laughs> the people you were the teaching me were family members, so that's why it wasn't, like... 
some person yeah. in school, you know. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's just, I, I didn't have any attempts to learn Spanish, because the Spanish teacher was just bad. Not, not that she was bad at teaching Spanish, she was just... I didn't really like her. Yeah, it's that happens a lot with teachers. Well, the problem is half the teachers that are teaching now don't really care about what they're teaching kill children. They don't really want to teach children. They don't like children. That's the other thing I've realized. A lot of them don't. They either, this is what happens. They either, if you know what I mean, they, they either really don't, they're teaching in ch child environments how to do things, or they're in those environments because they really, really like ch kids, if you know what I mean. That's the problem, is there's no person that's just normal in a lot of teaching places now, and all the good people that were teaching have retired and didn't teach somebody have a pupil after them to take over. So that's why we're in this, like, pan many pandemic of, like, a lot of public schools being, like, really, uh, bad, depending- I mean, it, it is where I am. Public schools are not good. That's part of the reason why- Yeah, or not I mine live. over here either. Oh, true. I, live, yeah. I live in New York, so, you know. Like, something I absolutely despise about teachers nowadays is that they don't really care about, like, um, teaching stuff. They just care about their pride. Like, once a, an English teacher, which, for the record, har hardly knows anything about the language, uh, corrected me on something that was not wrong, and I genuinely got pissed. I took, pulled up the dictionary, and she deadass said that um, she teaches English, however the hell she wants, and that um, she d doesn't teach it the correct way, but the way she thinks it is better, which is absolutely disgusting, as a teacher to say. What language is she teaching? Uh, English. What? <laughs> no, yeah, because, like, I'm in Italy, so they teach English to, uh, youngsters. What was she trying to- so, do you remember what she said, and then what you were- you were correcting her on? I actually don't remember. It was like a test where I uh, wrote something that she said it was slang, it was not used, but I- it was literally not. I actually don't remember, so I cannot pull the proof. I just remember having this- not fight, because I'm not gonna fight with a teacher, but like, it was genuinely- I was getting pretty pissed because like she that has that has said that um it's not uh she doesn't teach what is correct but what she thinks is better to teach i like cannot back this up so but yeah it's it's pretty annoying that like teachers don't actually i mean not all of them but a lot of them like have this issue where they don't even want to teach the the damn, the damn, like, subject. They just want to have the superior, uh, superiority complex uh, on the children. Mm. For, for over here, it's not even, like, about, about any pride or anything. For over here, it's just about a paycheck. True. Just go buy the book and then just fucking go home, get their, get their fucking, you know, their money. Really. To be honest, they don't even get paid too much, so I think they're just, like, not really wasting their time, but it's just a lot That's of pain cool. working with children. Yeah. Well, it's like, what's the point, then? If Because, like, I don't think people understand how, like, influential teachers can be for the rest of your life, because, like, these people are teaching... Like, for, for say, uh, the, we're, we're Gen Z. I'm, gonna, I'm pretty sure all of us are Gen Z in this call. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, they're teach these people are teaching Gen Alpha. I and and the you know what you want to know the biggest struggles of Gen Alpha right now, which is really sad. A mm. lot of them cannot read. I don't know if you've read the articles, but a lot of them cannot. Yeah. Read. They don't know how to talk because of the a lot of them were COVID bait. Some of these people were COVID babies, so they didn't because of the masks thing. A lot of them didn't learn because uh, the biggest part of talking is watching people's mouth move and learning how to open your mouth. And a lot of these kids didn't get taught, and it's not totally the parents' fault because they were just doing you know what they thought was right at the time. But a lot of these people are a little bit behind in when they're supposed to being able to talk. 
So a lot of people, a lot of them cannot read or speak, oh, which is I know that. not good. That's really <laughs> not good. And I can, I know this is true because I used to work with somebody that ha was teaching their their uh, their brother at home for their parents because their brother couldn't uh, can't read. So, and he's and he's like, I think this kid's like seven or eight, and he can't read. Which is not, um, that's not good. And it's not good, what the hell? But that is the problem yeah. that Gen Alpha is facing right now. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure within time they'll be, like, like, we, we were known as the generation that was the most technologically advanced at the time, and what I mean by that is we're probably, we're the last generation that, uh, that had the, like, uh, we, we weren't born into technology, is what I should say. So, we, we were still, our generation was still writing on paper before they fully converted, uh, everybody to typing. Yeah. So, we were still learning how to use, how to, how to type, but we were also still writing. But a lot of these people, a lot of these kids can't write either. But there's just this massive influx of children that can't read or write. And it's actually really scary. I have like a dumb question. What's your dumb question? Oh yeah, did uh, did, did you all like get taught uh, cursive in uh, uh, elementary school? I do. Uh, yeah. I, I I know how to do cursive because my parents sat down with my mom sat down with me and taught me, so I I can do cursive. I mean, I can't do full cursive, right? But because I, I only like use cursive for my for my signature. That's about it. I, Isn't like I, a room. Go ahead. Yeah. In uh, Romania, they like teach a uh, cursive um, first. No, not not first, but like uh, the um, the first time you actually learn how to fully write, it's uh, literally cursive. That's cool. They even know how to type or like write normally before uh, we they taught us cursive, which is actually pretty weird now that I think about it. Like no, they taught uh, the like the basic letters, but then. Um, before even learning how to do like lowercase, they just went on to cursive, which is uh, weird. But and like they taught us like a letter a week, I think. We had to like practice letters individually. Weird. Like. Yeah. With mine, we did. I learned how to you know write all my letters, and we did lowercase, uppercase, and then I didn't. I started learning cursive, and I think in seventh or eighth grade. But they didn't do that with- it is weird that they did that with you. I'm surprised they didn't do lowercase, uppercase, and then teach you cursive. That's weird. I think I, I, think I learned cursive, like, um, back in, um, I think kindergarten, and then, like, I learned it again in, like, third, I think. That is early. Yeah, and I didn't really- I don't really know how to do all the fucking alphabet for all cursive letters and all that. I just use it for my signature. And I think I do pretty well. <laughs> oh bad. Wait, can, can you kick my can you kick my friend that just joined? I have no idea how he's even joining. Who? Who? Wait. Someone, Someone like, wait, no, I'm stupid. I'm actually stupid. My my bad. I literally misread the the that damn oh my god, I'm stupid. Yeah, the, I was gonna the, say they can't join the S and I have to invite them and they No, have to no, th that is list. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I misread uh, the announcement. It like said friend joined. I'm actually yeah, I'm stupid. Okay? My bad. My bad. I saw like uh in the chat box friend uh, the thing joined, and I was really f I genuinely thought they joined the server, and because I don't use Hypixel a lot recently, so yeah, my bad. I'm actually stupid. No, you're okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Diamonds. Oh, bitch. I was lucky because I got, um, my parents would do flash, my mom would do flashcards with me, so it was like, um, it was flash, uh, flashcards for my, uh, m uh, oh, uh, fact, the math table, is it fact tables? Math tables? Uh, what is it called? Uh, so, times okay. tables. Times tables, so. We did all the way from one times, <clears throat> or sorry, zero, zero times whatever to, uh, I think, uh, was 16. It was it? It was 16 like 16. Times, 16 times 16, I think. I can't remember. 
I used to. Mine was like mine was like twelve, like no, twelve by twelve. Because we stopped it. I think it was thirteen times. I mean, not that I can't do it on paper right now and just do it, but like I we I memorized all the way from zero times zero to like thirteen times thirteen or something like that. Is this a thirteen times thirteen like one hundred sixty nine or my my dumb? I think it's one hundred sixty nine. Thirteen times thirteen? I'm not sure. Let me make sure. I'm pretty. Because I I I would spend every single day doing it. Yes, I'm correct. One hundred and sixty nine. That's what I thought. I spent so much time doing that that I've just like it's just there. But I did zero times zero all the way to it. So that meant every time I was doing multiplication, because I did have tests that were just for my math stuff that was just multiplication. I didn't have to write down anything because I had it memorized. So I would just write down what it was. I would look at it and go, oh, 12 times 12, 144. And then so on. And then because I had it memorized. And there's some you can do in your head. And there's some you can't, and that's okay, because I can't do all of it in my head. Sometimes I don't use it doesn't work. I don't use math for Nathan, so I don't really use it to have one, but I do know like a bit of fucking math. I was kind of good at it, but like not, you know, amazing. I'm kind of disappointed in myself because now, like everything they taught me in math, I just don't use because I use a calculator. I mean, yeah. You can use, also just use, use fucking jet, chat GPT for all your, like, all your, um, schoolwork these days. Oh, don't get me started. I'm really pissed off. They started making people use chat GPT for projects, and you want to know why? It's because what's, creativity is gone if you're letting a robot do everything for you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, here's the thing, right? A little trick you can do is literally just use chat GPT, and if they have, like, an, like an AI detector for work, you could just put it through a word paraphraser, so it changes the entire fucking structure, and like do a little bit of editing yourself, and you basically have a fucking completed project. That's what I don't understand. It's like, and the thing is, at the same time, the people doing this, I can't blame them. You know how much homework they're giving kids to do it within a small time frame. Dude, I used to, I used to like actually do college. I just, I just couldn't. I was like, this is like before COVID. Or like during, like it was technically during COVID, right? But it was like the, but you know, between COVID starting, and um, you know, I think it is actually officially beginning the quarantine. Because before there wasn't a quarantine. I just, I just couldn't get into it. I felt like high school 2.0, and I couldn't, and I couldn't do it. Yeah, I was actually supposed to start when I was 16. I was gonna do a dual credit, and uh, a bunch of stuff happened, and I ended up not being able to. And then also, I want to add, it's really expensive. Even if you're going to a community college, it is freaking expensive. Yeah, it's, it's not for me. I don't want to do it. Half, yeah, I'm not going, because it's not for me either. And the biggest reason I want to add is because when you actually go and you... you, you let's say you know exactly what you want to do. <clears throat> like, you when you take classes, you have to have credits for for it and all that and the thing is half of the stuff that you're doing has nothing to do with what you're trying to get a degree for so yeah. and the thing is it is required so you have no choice but to take a class on something that has nothing to do with it's what you're literally doing. high school like hello yeah why why even do it why even do college if you're not gonna do what you want to do in college the place where like that's fucking promised and the other cool. thing I add false propaganda is that it's so ingrained in people's heads that you have to have a college degree and it's just not true anymore I, I i've seen people that have college degrees that graduated and they're ne they're making less money than people that have more work experience dude i am still trying to get a fucking job it is tough it is actually really tough these days because the standards for getting a job these days hard horrible and, and this is the thing, half of the people that are in college right now, they haven't figured this out, but a lot of jobs require experience, and then the thing is, is that they don't, like, what's the word? They they say you need experience to do this, but then you, the point of the getting job is getting experience, so how do you get experience? I say all the time, like, how do you get experience without experience? 
It's so cyclic and it's annoying. Like, what am I supposed to fucking do? And this is the problem, is that it's not our fault that we were put into a situation with society where they've created this loop, like this weird hole in society where we're, we're, we're at a point where inflation is really bad. The 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 the, the, the mar the market's gonna crash anytime. I'm just saying it, it's 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 pretty inflated. The, the job market <laughs> is like do not Google sonic inflation, guys. Do not um, do not Google <laughs> DeviantArt inflation. <laughs> Did you know about when Sonic games uh, had their prices inflated because nobody was buying them? So then they uh, just. Uh, Went up in price. Look up Sonic Inflation for more info. Chat. Don't look it up. Um, guys, you should Google it. It's told. Don't do it. <laughs> don't. But um, but this is this is what's really unfortunate for a generation. We're in a situation where it's really hard to get a job. Um, it's really hard for people to get experience to even get a job. And also, everybody's in debt. You know, you know how many people have been sold to lie about college and they get on all this debt and they get promised, like, a special job at the end and they don't get it, despite having a degree and they won't- They're not hiring people with degrees right now. That's the other thing I want to add. There's people getting getting jobs that are barely paying more than somebody who's working at a normal, like, store. Dude, I just want a job to get. M I just want. I just want. I just want money, dude. It's hard to get money these days. Cause like what I'm doing is I'm I'm working. Uh, I got monetized, and then I got uh Epic Games. My Epic Games stuff is monetized now too with Ep my deal with Epic Games. And so no, I've got about three. I got three different um things going on, and I'm also working. So I'm hoping. That it all works out, and then I have, like, and then at some point, I need to start a business. But I don't have, the problem is, to start a business, you need a lot of money. But my my parents have been encouraging me to start my own business as well. So what, what I'm gonna, once I have enough money, I'll buy, I'll buy my own, um, like, sort of like a, what do you call it? Like a, like a startup pack? Like, okay, so when you're starting a business, there's a certain amount of money you need. And again, it's expensive, but but yeah, I I am that's that's what I'm doing is I'm doing all that stuff, and I'm working on a bunch of other stuff on the side. Right. So, and since if if this uh if I if my podcast people see this podcast, I can get a couple extra bucks off the podcast if people want to watch it because I'm trying to. Do something that's not stressful, but yeah. like that's fun, that's simple. And then my mom said is that I should start doing. So, uh, most of the people don't know this about me, but I love Littlest Pet Shop. Wow, it I haven't heard that of, in a while. Holy shit! I I am obsessed with Littlest Pet Shop. I I am I am one of my hyper fixations is Littlest Pet Shop. I I I could talk about it all day. I have so much. I have an entire. What's the lore. The lore, the uh, that the um fun fact uh the, they started making them again and it got bought out by a new company. Oh wow. And the thing that annoys me though is that the people that are printing them out, they're putting the old li dates on the bottom, so it looks so it's the same molds, but they didn't change the date. So it, the, a lot of them say two thousand and like six on them when they're not two thousand six. They're brand new. That's so weird. It is weird. And I know it's because I own a lot of the- I own so many original ones. I, I have an entire shelf behind me of them. But my mom was saying that- and the thing is, I was worried about that. My mom was telling me about how, uh, I should just start doing Lil's Petcha videos. And don't me, get me wrong, I've done a few. But most people don't see them because they're- they're Lil's Petcha. But the problem is that YouTube keeps taking those videos and putting them on YouTube Kids. And sets and turns off the comments and turns off the Ew. likes and dislikes. And the problem I have with that is, uh, you. <clears throat> I don't think you can monetize it when it gets marked as kids. 
So I see. Um, I've been trying to find a work around that. I haven't found it yet, but that is something I genuinely like. I love it. I love those pitch up as much as I love Sonic. Like I love, I love, love, love a little patch up, and it used to be my username everywhere was LPSO Lop Rabbit and uh, LPSO twenty fifteen for the long before Lapis the Wolf, that was my name everywhere. My Lapis the Wolf only became my name on everything in twenty sixteen. That was around the time I think I made this Minecraft account that I'm on right now. I see. But everyone knows me as Lapis, but I actually used to be known as LPSO. And I didn't, I didn't, it was when I had changed my name, that was when I became people, at, at that point, I had met more people, so more people are known. And that's what the point this. of the mask is. That's what the mask is. <laughs> that's what the point I'm of in the mask. thick of it, everybody knows. I'm in the thick of it, I'm dripping cheese, bro. I've got the cheesy drip all over. On the, the ring, to the screen, to the pen, to the king. Where's my crown? That's my bling. Always drama when I ring. This song is so ass. This song Dog, is so ass. Who, who let bro cook? Who is, let is he okay? Yeah. The food. Who let bro burn the food? KSI has been having like a mental breakdown on Twitter after and like the Denti DM's one tweet. The Dude, I feel, I feel like he's doing... It. I feel like it's fake. I'm gonna yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was gonna say too. It's kind of fake. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's fake. Yeah, I don't think it's. Re I think he's just doing this on purpose, right? It doesn't feel real. Like he is like, I don't know, dude. He's. It feels like he's trying to deflect so he like they ignore all the fucking um other shit that's going around. I don't want to talk about it, but if, if people know, people know. And the thing is, is the problem is that as much as like I would say, Twitter is like not the best place ever. The problem is we have there's too many people still using it at the moment for people to be able to go somewhere else. Cause the problem, cause you know how many so other social media companies have Twitter accounts. You know how many just car companies have Twitter accounts. How many insurance companies have Twitter accounts? Until the advertisers move somewhere else. Twitter's always going to be around. Yeah. Because it's where the money is yeah. for the advertisers at the end of the day. That's why he doesn't care when who knows how many people are on Twitter or not. It's just like how he he messed up all the Twitter for all the people in Brazil for a while until it, he decided to make a deal with the Brazilian government and then the people in Brazil got access again. Which was, it was this, I don't know why he didn't just sit down and have a talk with the own, the guy who takes, that controls Brazil in the first place instead of making fun of him and just talking to him. Um. But. But yeah, like, all these people are gonna keep using Twitter as much as a lot of people hate Twitter. Or want to move? It, it, we won't be able to move until um, until uh, advertisers move because who's gonna fund it? There's so many people using Twitter right now. Not as nearly so you many as there used to be, but still, it's still enough for it to be around. And not until enough people and the advertisers, because advertisers are there because there's people there. But I think the problem is about I'd say 50% of Twitter is just bots now. And thus, I don't think I'm over-exaggerating. I think it's genuinely, like, mostly bots because I can't go to a single post without seeing at least a bot. Yeah, there's a lot of weird bots, too, let's say. Come to this website. Mm -hmm. The other problem, I think, that kind of in influenced the culture on Twitter in a bad way was when all the people that were on Tumblr moved to Twitter. That yeah, really uh, changed things in a bad way, in my opinion. Changed the meta. Yeah, because not everybody on Tumblr was bad, but there were quite a few people that, that should have stayed there that should not. And the biggest, and the reason why that happened was because Tumblr banned uh, NSFW stuff or whatever. Yeah. And so all those people moved to Twitter, and that's why there's a massive influx of people that do that kind of uh, stuff. I mean, you're allowed to do that kind of stuff, but just, I think, that, in my honest opinion, I think that the people doing that kind of stuff should be private accounts so that it can keep people who are minors from seeing it. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't think a DNI is, like, enough, really. 
if you get what I mean. Yeah, I I I hope that I hope Blue Sky gets big enough where um people people feel comfortable enough to just go on there because I'm still on Twitter until uh it's gone <laughs> until everybody I I like talking to has moved to somewhere else. I will most likely move to wherever they go so I can keep talking to some of my my friends. Yeah, I get what you mean. Not that I don't have a lot of those people added on Discord, but it's just Twitter is one of those places where you can like go, uh, make a tweet and like people will see it and say something. But I'm noticing that a lot more people are talking on Blue Sky, which is a good thing. We're we're getting somewhere. You know how dead Blue Sky was six months ago? We've we've gotten to about a million, uh, over a million people have signed up for Blue Sky. That's amazing. That is. You know what that reminds me of actually. Deal. Yes. It reminds me of um when um Google Plus ended, right? Because I was a part of Google I Plus. I was Google, like, I was. I miss Google Plus. Yeah, like I was part of Google Plus, right? And um, a lot of people who, like when Google Plus ended, they went over to a website called MeWe, which I was also a part of. Like MeWe basically became the new Google Plus, but now it's bad. Fuck MeWe sucks now because it's. I think it might be more corporate or whatever, and it's just ugh. It's just a huge blah that it, you you know, and it was. I've actually never heard of that before. The MeWe? Yeah, people just, people just migrated over to MeWe um, when Google Plus ended. What I miss about Google Plus is being able to t to send videos through YouTube. Yeah, I, don't know I if remember anybody that. Rem I miss that so much because I could send my little brother like funny messages. Well, he if he was on YouTube, if he had YouTube open, he would get a notification and see that on his YouTube notifications, it was like a message. I would. It was so much easier because I could just send him a YouTube video like immediately because he had YouTube open. He could just see the link and click on it. Yeah. The like, biggest I used... reason I migrated Good. out of Google Plus, where I when Google Plus died, where I went was to it was to Amino and it was to uh to Discord. Oh. Oh. Don't get me oh, started on how bad Amino is, but like. Oh, I'm sorry. You went to Amino. That sounds horrible. But I went to I, I went to Amino and then I went to and then I uh, I I went to Discord a year after and then I was I became more active on Discord and then kind of stopped posting on Amino because of some experiences I had but I will not. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> like I um what I did on uh Miwi right or in Google Plus too is mainly just did role play and it was like you know really fun. It was also really bad too. Like a I lot of people did RP. I didn't do RP on Google Plus. I just used it to talk to my brother and to tease him. That was what I did. Yeah, I used to do like fucking um Undertale roleplay, fucking um other random other roleplays that I did. That's how I met a lot of um, my, my closest friends actually. That's really funny. Yeah, I was just on Google Plus, and like, bro, it was some wild fucking times. It's I'm kind of I kind of miss it. Kind of miss the cringe. You know what I mean? Yeah, I miss I miss miss when because I so what I did on Amino I role played on Amino. I didn't do it on Google Plus. I did it on Amino. That's I I was I was in the Mega Man community. Oh. So, um. And I I would just I would role play as my OC Lapis, which is what you all know me as now. <laughs> oh my God, you're from Mega Man. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm from I originally, funny enough, my char uh, character that I used rubber my I like I had I had kept every time I moved, I found a new fandom I liked, I would add more lore to the story or change something slightly. Me when the lore. I never really had like a like a fucking Sona um like you know, in those communities. I only like just recently had like you know, made like a Sona. And even then I don't have like the colors ready for it. And it's actually like Ask somebody to color it and forgot the colors for it. My Sona, I would say, is like, how old? How long? How old is this Sona? When? It, when did I make it? Kind of my Sona, I my character, is, a lapis is about like I've had it for about eight years. Did somebody just spawn the Ender Dragon? Whoa! I, I did it, but like it has no AI, so it's just gonna stand there. They want me to kill it. How did you make it not move? Uh, it's like a... You can like remove the AI when spawning mobs. Uh, wait. Let me see. 
if I can kill it. Uh, Ender dragon. I think dragon. we'll end the podcast here because we've hit the over two hour mark, and I'll have to edit it down because I know I had a lot of uh, edit. I had a lot of issues when I was trying to do stuff earlier, so it'll probably cut it down to just an hour when I edit yeah. it down. All right. But um. By, by the way, what what do you think about all the signs I left around? I think they're I think they're pretty funny. <laughs> that is that is my good takeaway from this. But that is oh, that's that is funny. episode two of the Yappers podcast. <clears throat> Thank you guys for listening. Until next time, yap 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 yap. yap. See ya, good boy. <laughs>